Hey guys, so a while ago I did show how I made this e-paper wall out of 300 old e-paper price tags which each got 2.9 inch uh, screen size and 296 and 128 pixel resolution and are controlled via the custom firmware running on them and the 8051 core chip and the Zigbee station and together with it it's working very reliable and you can show any image you like these images are meant to be black white and red but with this ring you can get quite some nice images out of it in colors but you may already notice the problem with it it's these borders between all the uh, screens and even on camera it's now hard to make out the real image so there had to be a better solution and by luck I found a very good one and I will show it so this new solution is to use 45 7.4 inch e-paper displays which are also out of old e-paper price tags and just look so much better even with these borders around which can also not be removed here and screens in that size are not yeah get able and yeah overall it's here also that it's just using some 3d printed clips which are screwed into like tiles so each screen is held in place by the clip before and then the next um, clip is screwed onto the wood plane and the most top uh, one is held in by some velcro tape so there was just no room to screw anything in anymore this also works via zigbee and the same station and is working even better as we for once have less screens and also these uh, firmware, uh, this, this custom firmware of these screens do allow to compress the image data so it's even faster to upload images even if the screen size is bigger than on the 300 other ones so overall this system works way better but it's way harder to get hands on as these screen, screens are very rare in comparison to the small ones but it just looks so much better so yeah i just wanted to give this uh, update on the e-paper wall and how it looks now and that it's just way more impressive and way better looking now than before that's it already for the small overview. You can find the custom firmware for the big and the small screen in the GitHub repo ZBS Flasher. And many thanks here to Dimitri who really did most of the reversing for basically both of these microcontrollers and created the basis for this custom firmware and which is yeah impressively good to work with to reuse these old e-paper price tags. I will link it down in the description and you can also uh, find some older videos where I show a bit the development process of the custom firmware, especially the for one for the 88MZ100 microcontroller of the 7.4 inch displays. Okay, 